Hello. Right now we are here with Logan Ball and Callie Sigu. Yes, yes, good yes, job. Yes, yes. Most people do not get that pronunciation right. What do they say? Sigu. Sig. Sig is my favorite. Sig would be Callie Sig. Callie Sig. Callie Sig. I like or that. Or if you, if, you, if you had the Mexican restaurant, Sigway. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. Sigway. 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 Like the, the way thing, it's, like it's the thing spelled is, is actually a Spanish word. Uh-huh. It like means investor or something. I don't know. Investor? So, That's I don't know. I could be wrong. Way. Don't write that. Don't write are that you, down. Are you an investor? Not yet, but I might be. <laughs> Name your price. That's funny. <laughs> How good of a salesman are you? Who me? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty good. I mean, yeah, no, I'm just I'm investing here. No, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm just being I'm stupid. This all started with Sig <laughs> 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 And Just so we know. I like Sigway. No. That's like my favorite. Well, you but think for that, the record, it's Sig You think they, <laughs> they, they can't screw up ball. They cannot. Not. They cannot. Mm. You know. But I do get asked um, and quite like, you know, like often. And, and how do you spell that? <laughs> I just don't even respond. Ball. <laughs> ball. Think of a ball. Not and spell it's kind it. of a, and ironic. That's like the first thing you learn how to spell. I feel like it was the first word. As a child, I think. The first word that you say. Yeah, like exactly. Like, screw mama and daddy. It's ball for it's sure. Ball. Like I got ball. a four year old. I know. <laughs> yeah, but that's the first thing you like really learn how to spell. I mean, it's a four little word that exactly. you get. It's like one of the first things you get in your hands as a child. Exactly. Well. I'm not going. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> We're filled with some geniuses here yeah. in 2018. Well, you, trust me, they messed St. Marie up like crazy. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's bad. Street wait, Marie? Who? No, I've, oh. had, I've had it all. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Is Saint your middle name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Not at all. That's my friend was messing with me the other day. He's like, dude, what's with that J in your name? I'm like, they were calling me. They thought Saint was my middle name. He's like, well, they don't know you too well. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. Shame. I have another friend who calls me Kevin. I ain't no Saint Marie. <laughs> <laughs> and barely a, a saint. One. That's a good one. But no, barely I mean, we are here. We are, that was almost a whole show <laughs> by itself. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. This morning we went for a ride or two. A couple rides. We, we, we had lunch. I think. And then a cocktail. And then... Uh, we wanted the cocktail first just to be... Yes. Lunch, lunch then a... Co- well, well, we wanted yeah. the cocktail and with lunch. Unfortunately. Tell them what you drank, by the way. Okay, well, and look, and already we getting called out on the drinking uh, problem. Let's I just know. address it. Okay? <laughs> well, no, like, because we want them to know that, you, you know, there are people that... I'm not ashamed because can I get a witness I'm or are you proud. with me? And I'm proud, damn it. And, and I'm there proud. we go. Well, no, that like, the, like ultimately the people. Rocks, two lemons. There we go. But and my baby over here drank Jameson during the day for the first time, and for I the am first proud. Time ever. For I the first am so time proud. Ever. And it was actually a double shot of Jameson with a uh, Sprite, a splash of. Uh, and what was it? Orange a splash juice, of right. like orange juice, yeah. And, and it was great. It, it and was, was great. Good. It was absolutely fabulous. I feel fantastic. Yes, very relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's over here turning down the volume. But I you told see, you we you already get. No, I, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just. No, I'm, I'm like, okay. No, it, I, I was, I was just like, what did y'all drink? <laughs> We We're already getting gone out, though. So I'm like, okay. And, and both of you are from New Iberia. You know oh what? my god! We, yes. But I live in St. Martinville. I love Lafayette. And I live in Lafayette. So you I know love what? Lafayette with love all my you. heart. No, I'm just picking I'm here with New Iberia. Every night. May God bless Lafayette. I, I have this saying that says, you know, New Iberia loves Lafayette <laughs> because they got to get out. Because we got to get out. They gotta we get have out. got to get out. They must. When you go in out. <laughs> To Lafayette. Lafayette. And you this is best. like the first day that I'm finding out about and this And I song. don't know how you're from, like, where have you been? I did have that same haircut, though. I will say and that. And I told you you did. With the same, like, spike Every and then the fade. Every boy man in the 90s had that haircut in New Iberia. I feel like mine was in the early 2000s, though. That's where yeah, I get a little shade. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm, is this it though? This isn't it because I just got it. this. Dude. No. Okay, you gotta get the I just got You this have dude. to get the short, short sideburns. Yeah, so, short, like, yeah, they're, 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 I would like my hair is probably super close because of the oh, I went to get a haircut the last time and this woman just like cut off my sideburn on the left side and she like it was like kryptonite. Oh. I like I, I, my oh, body just went. Oh, what did you do to me? Oh, like, she's like, what's wrong? I said, Nobody cuts my sideburns that short. Yeah, she goes, oh, I'm so sorry. And you see, you should ask. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, that's what she told me. She said, I should have asked. And she did ask. Look, and yes. she was like, look, and can I do your brows? I'm like, oh, my God, yes. Like, absolutely. Please 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 I don't do. get that. Get them caterpillars. I don't get that. He needed it. I needed it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I needed we're, it. We're being honest. Here. I need my nose hairs and trimmed. I need, like, my ears plucked. Like, all of it. All of uh, it. Do people actually do this? Because yes. I need to go there. Really? I grow oh, dude. hair in places. I do it all myself. I could actually grow hair. I do like, it. I do all of this myself. Oh, you self groom. Uh, yes, I it, do it, my it's best, not, but it, it grows is, back within a few days. So, so. self groomers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. Dude, look, let me tell you something. If I see a hair that don't need to be there, it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, like you pluck it, yeah. No, I'm like it's over. Like if I had my own electronic machine, it would be electro electrolyzed. I'm not with that. No, no, the ear hair and. The... And you're 27. Wait till you get 37. I'm 26. You're gonna look like the the the, the, the dad. We're still 26. We're gonna be 27. Oh, really? I got a month to go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've got go. I've got a little longer. I got a little bit longer. But that's all right, girl. Doing We're both good. up there. It's our, it's okay. We're getting up there. We're in our prime. Okay? We are. We're, We're fresh. In the prime. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to disagree, Kim? No, I I I'm <laughs> I'm 39 and in my prime. And you and you no. are. Because 40 is the new 20. I feel like we're just a prime choice. We're like a grade A beef. Yeah. We're like, like, you know, like Angus beef. Anyway. That's what we are. So, one more time while we're here. <laughs> oh, yeah, back to... <laughs> okay, back to so we had this here. conversation probably about two weeks ago about talking about food. And, 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 and now, I think we've come to the understanding that we, we are basically going to do a show that we are you know um and 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 basically you two will be foodies with a drinking problem that's us well we have to be a hundred percent honest if we're going to give the background story this idea came while we were drunk okay let's all begin there one night callie was like like Callie was all drunk on the couch and she's like, And oh my god, Logan, and why are we not food critics? <laughs> and then I'm like and then I'm like, Well, like to be honest, Callie, that's always been a dream. Like, you know like, why are we not though? like and why are we not critics? So then like and a so couple we weeks found you. Exactly. A couple of weeks and goes on by and I'm like, oh well, my God, like I'm constantly, I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking about it. Well, we are critics. What's interesting to me is everyone that is a food critic has never really worked in a restaurant. Exactly. There you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, 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 like they're all it. above and beyond and we're like, no, we are you. We feel you. We there with you, sister. No, we know. You know, like, we know. And, and they, you know, it's very interesting to me, you know, to me, a, the, a critic is not really a critic it, they are someone t- kind of expressing what they feel about uh, and, and showing you new things that people may have in the yeah, restaurant right. but when you've worked in the restaurant world and you go out there looking for food, you're looking for stuff that you know that you've seen and th- exactly. you know you know if it's up you know if it's better than a normal scene exactly. or not. yes uh, yes you can you know. ask any server like anywhere you go whether it's a bar restaurant whatever Who's the best tippers? It's right. going to be other servers. Right. No, I oh, agree yeah, with that. 100%. I, I've actually 100%. had, I've actually argued with some servers at the table. They're they're like tipping seventy percent. I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, no, it's because we know. I know, <laughs> I know, but like we're the most generous tippers. Yeah. No, I I agree. Well, well, not everyone. Not ev- no, not you got this one, one that's a jackass <laughs> of somewhere. Course, but you got that one jackass <laughs> everywhere. Also depends yeah. on like on like and where and you've like. S- served at if you've too. served yeah. at a place like say like a Chili's or like a small little like yeah. a little corporate place like odds are and you're not gonna 
make a really good kind of money, so you're going to tip, a, like, a little less. If you work for, like, a good, a privately owned kind of business, then, of course, and you make a, and really good, and mm-hmm. you're going to and tip well. It's just and a part of it. Now, I've been there, done that, where, like, and I've gone out, and I've tipped $3 on a 20 to on a on like a and twenty dollar bill mm-hmm. now not so and and not much like I'll go out and my bill will be and twenty five dollars I'll leave at least ten dollars it's a part of that business yeah but yeah and, and we love food and we love alcohol mm-hmm. so that's why and you have uh, brought us here because I love alcohol and I love food and so does Cali. Yeah, well, no, I, I think it's, I think it's fun to be honest, and I think that it's fun to be real, and the whole behind the scenes aspect of, you know, like, like, you know, you can taste some meatballs, and, you know, this is my grandma's meatballs, it's the best recipe ever, and out of nowhere, it's like, okay, you know, I've been there, like, you know, I've been in the French Quarter, and they're like, we've got the best recipe for burgers in the world, I'm like, no, you don't. And I and they get mad at me if I, I'm like, you know, it's it's okay. I had one get so mad at me because I told him it was okay that I thought that they were gonna be re- ready. I thought they were gonna be re- ready to call the cops on me. But, but I told him, has the same taste yeah. But but the thing about it, well, yeah. the thing about it is, is like you know, with me with hamburgers, I've eaten them everywhere. Right. That's your so thing. well, but but every day of my life since I was <laughs> ten years old. Okay. Oh, I love I, I recently stopped because I'm about, okay. I said when I turned 40, I would stop eating them every day. So I'm about to be 40 in two weeks. So literally for the last two weeks was the first time I haven't eaten a hamburger every day. For the first time in 30 years. And, and we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Well, no. What's really funny about it, okay. When I hold a hamburger. And it fi- it falls apart this in my hands. Y'all are missing out on okay, no, it really is. Lost. Like, like you know, it's when I'm holding your burger, and I go to take a bite, and it breaks off into two pieces. <laughs> and you tell me that's the best burger in the French Quarter. <laughs> Drew just hit the microphone. It's done. <laughs> don't even, don't even, just I'm just go get, get get behind the wall because <laughs> I'm about to tell you something. There's nothing more aggravating. A than a hamburger that a falls apart in your burger. hands, and you got to sit there and what try to Red Robin? hold this thing. I don't feel anything about Red Robin. I've heard people say that, and yeah, they've right. got the best burger, and in Lafayette, and uh, like, that is a day. I don't, I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> that is a day. I've had, I've had the gourmet Red Robin situation even before, like when Red Robin first started, and then they kind of went into their gourmet thing. I think the word gourmet shouldn't happen with a burger. No, That's how I truly it feel. Be like it should be like y- yeah, but e- even like what I'm saying is like you know, like the only thing you can do gourmet to a hamburger is like bring in other countries and kind of do what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, you know what, what? I mean, what 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 is a gourmet burger to you? Nothing to me. I I don't know. Like to me, like because I I've been invited. I'm eating it with a fork and a knife. So to eat these. I guess burger. gourmet could also be like depending on the grade and a, right. No, I like like what, what are they? I, I always call it Kobe Bryant burger. Yeah, but <laughs> but like I know he's like, they get mad at me when I say it because to me I don't like Kobe beef. I'm not I'm not real big really? on it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm never. I've had to eat these hundred fifty dollar hamburgers and stuff, and, and, and I'm like, dude, I go get me a really. Ha- a, a, could you imagine? Go get me a real hamburger, please. That's what I tell them. I would much rather have Angus beef or a or bison. Burger. Bison to me, it's it's a little. I mean, it's 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 pretty heavy, but like that's good meat. It is. You yeah, know, was, like. What was that talking about? I was like, I've done bison. No, bison's good, man. Yeah. Like, it but but you know what I'm like. What I'm saying is, like, the Kobe thing. I'm I'm done. I don't want that. I'm cool. I like it with like you know like you know like Asian food. Like. Well, that's usually where I've had it. Yeah. It, it. But some places they specifically want to get that. I think Bonefish did it for a little while, and I hope they got rid of it. <laughs> but like you know, like to me, like like as a s- just as a s- like- kind of like a, I think people are asking them to get something like that. I don't know why, but you try to make your customer happy. I think sometimes in these restaurants too much. And I think sometimes it winds up blowing up in, in your face a little bit. 
because yeah. somebody tries the burger that they've been begging you to get forever, and they, they eat it one time and they never order it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing you need to do, Bonefish, is make a double-sized bang, bang, shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. You get yeah. you instead of having seventeen shrimp, you can have just one giant shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you, everybody could cut it oh, like a lobster. Yeah. Shrimp, please. <laughs> yeah, no, just giant shrimp. You know, yeah, but that shri- you have a Fukushima, so a Fukushima radiation thing in the back, and it comes out a giant shrimp, and Mondo that's about shrimp. it. Remember Mondo Burger? <laughs> <laughs> Mondo shrimp. But you know what I mean? Like, like, could you imagine a giant shrimp the size of this notepad coming out of the table? People would be like, "Oh my god!" It, you take a selfie with that thing. Right. I, I was about to say, but I take. <laughs> Me with it. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. It's okay, let's odd. stop talking about burgers. I won't shut up about hamburgers. Okay, I'm telling you. It's all right. Um, okay. What is your favorite? I mean, do you have a favorite food? Oh God, that's oh, such a hard that is question. A hard one. It's like okay, because I'm a big pasta person. Like I like pasta <laughs> person, and I'm a big pasta person. Person. No, I love pastas. Like. Alfredo's spaghetti, I love pasta a, a regular spaghetti. I am I like a huge pasta. pasta person, but now are you a pasta you know, too? <laughs> hey, yes, love it. I love pasta. That's one that I can a say pa- that I yeah. like a lot. As far as because you can do so much with pasta dishes, you and it's do very like a vinaigrette simple sauce. Too. You can do an Alfredo. You can do like a butter sauce. Like yes. a like there's just and then it's very quick and it's and then very there's simple. pasta salads and yeah. like you know. I love pasta. Yeah. But we're huge on steak. We can't lie. We, when we go eat out, typically, we, odds are, we get all kind of appetizers, and but our meal is nine times out of ten going to be like a steak or... Either that or meat. we'll get two different kind of yeah. things, like uh, say like a, a fish. filet and a fish, yeah. and then we'll just like split it, and it's completely perfect. That's usually the f- a, f- a fun time. Right. Like, yeah. yeah, like, that's what, and I, look, if I go out, it's, like, a really good kind of dinner, like, yeah. I want it family style, like, you know, like, I want to get at three different and appetizers, and then we usually split can't a pasta, the split this, We're split do- that, and then you get, like, a, like, a little, and taste, and of everything. Right. Uh-huh. And, like, you know what I mean? But I love Chinese food. That's one thing that I can say that I love. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love Chinese food. Like, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> See, I feel like there's nothing I really, like, crave on the regular. Like, I love so much food. I crave I Chinese. I crave pizza. Pizza. I pizza? crave Pizza? No, okay. Now we're going somewhere. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. We need, about, we, need, yeah, yeah. we need to talk about, yeah, we need to talk about How often that. do you actually go eat together? Twice a week. At least, uh, at least probably four, two or three, two four. Or three. depending and how, how often do you drink together? <laughs> every, night, every night, <laughs> <laughs> every night, <laughs> every day, depending every night, work, like, during lunch. Depends on how late we get off. Dinner work. normally goes down on our days off because yeah. we normally like in, and we kind of keep the, the same, same schedule. Yeah. But like, uh, and drinking is uh, is on a nightly That's basis, definitely. <laughs> Okay, top five favorite drinks. Vodka, mm. vodka. We differ margaritas, here. Margaritas, vodka, and margaritas. He's he's a big vodka drinker. I'm I'm the whiskey. I'm more of I like my Crown. I like my Jameson. Uh, when I'm feeling spicy, wrong. we'll throw a cognac and give me a shot of Henny. <laughs> yeah, look, I'll drink a Jameson and with her, uh-huh. like and at night, but like. I'm a vodka he's, drinker, and I love a good margarita. Yes, and also, he's he loves cocktails, though. He okay. has opened me up to trying cocktails. Because, like, I'd go to all these places, and I'm like, eh, mm, mm. I don't like sweet things, really. And me neither. And, and me neither. And stuff like that. And he'll be like, well, let's check out what kind of martinis they have. And then and then you go to ask him, okay, well, what's, what's something not too sweet? But it has a good flavor, and then you know you're gonna aggravate the shit out of them. So then you're like, okay, I'm sorry, but I just I really can't handle anything too sweet. So what you got for me? And then they come out, and they all like it's, it's always superb. I have not been let down with a martini, like a good a good martini after dinner or during now, dinner and with dinner. Yeah. I'll wash down my and like my grilled vegetables with a good lemon Definitely. drop, like. 
But also, uh, I'm a big wino. I'm probably a little more of a wino than you. I love He's wine. He's more of a white wine. I'm, yeah. I'm a red. I, I like love a dry wine. cab, like... However, whenever we go out to, like, a great kind of dinner, like, a very bougie and little dinner, and she's like, oh, well, like, you know, I'm feeling, like, a good, uh... Pinot Noir or this. I'm and like, like no, bitch. New. You're drinking you're dr- a martini I'm gonna need with you to me. get some vodka in your life. Yeah, like, no. No, wine. That's what we drink and at home and while we're by the pool. Right. We're drinking vodka. We're like at a very bougie dinner and we're being bougie. I want to hold a nice glass v- and get drunk v- vodka, and stumble out of here. Vodka s- sneaks up on you Definitely. quick, too. And it's so, it's so me, it's easy to quick mask. Enough. It's yeah. so oh, no. easy to mask and perfect. a drink. Like Ugh, you, you can perfect. barely put anything with vodka and not taste it. Exactly. Do you both bartend? Uh, I'm no? more of a like He's I've bartended. A okay, I, I've bartended, but I'm good whenever it comes to the drinking of it. Mixology, the yeah. mixology of a good and the drink. drinking of it, and the drinking of it. Yes. Okay. But I'm not a bartender at all. And see, I, I like I enjoy. I have mixing drinks. served. I have served in the past, but I've bartended for majority of the, okay. In the last eight years, I've bartended. Yeah. So. Well, I have to ask this: being from New Iberia, what kind of God. like New Iberians We're are so very different. interesting? I know it. I know it. No, I mean like ask away. you know what? Like you can have fifty people in a room. We want to know what's in our water. I mean, we're literally on the map. Like you go no. anywhere, you tell them from you're from New Iberia, and they're like, "Oh God." I know. Look, I can tell you this. Ugh. If if Survivor went wanted to find somebody to throw a chink in chink in that in that uh million dollar grab for grabs, then go to New Iberia and do some casting. Get get you Very one New true. Iberian, you're gonna have one hell of a show. Yep, <laughs> definitely. Very true. Yeah. So so being that we're from New being Iberia, that we're from there. yeah. Wait, what what else? Like <laughs> what? Like to me, it's like what, what have you learned from New Iberia? I'm curious. You want to get out. <laughs> it's a hundred percent true. But you get out and you you get to see it the appreciation opens you up. for it. Yeah. Because like, but the problem with it right now is, and I and I know y'all are working on it. I've read all y'all articles. It's very sad to see where it's, what it's come to because it is a beautiful town. It's very historic. I, it I, actually brings in people from all over. the I world. I will say this about New Iberia. I, I have to. I have to, one of the books that I have to produce is. I can't say what kind of book it is, but it will be a photograph book that I because I take pictures around with Katie Anna. and and I will document that New Iberia at a certain time has at certain places have the some of the best sunsets you can take photos of. Oh, definitely. So, um, like it, it's really really interesting, you know, depending yeah, on where really where you are at what time. Too, if you like really go into the depths of it all, like. There's so much history there, Mm -hmm. and it's like, it's almost like there's soul there. Like, there's there's a certain feel, and anybody from New Iberia can feel it. Like, when you leave, especially, and I don't know how to explain it because we all talk about it. Like, and I'm like, we all feel the same way. Like, you talk to other people from New Iberia, especially if Mm -hmm. we're literally, what, 20 miles down the road? We are not far. Yeah. But it's like. You literally feel... 23.5 like, miles, 23. exactly. 5, exactly. <laughs> like, there's a totally different feeling. You go back, and it's like... It's this feeling in your gut of, like, knowing... And I guess that's what a lot of hometowns, and especially and to me, being it's small, just like To me, it's just, like, not a good feeling. It's not like, anymore. Every time, like, and I you go just, like, back, God, I just feel out. depressed. And I'm exa- like, it is a depression. It's like, it's sad. Like, what happened? It's almost like a burden, like... I don't know. It's like, it's just, it, it kind of brings me down because like, and at one point it was it a great place to grow up. It it's a nice town. It's updated. It's kept up with, like, you know, they keep up with it, but it's like the crime, everything. the crime is just so like embarrassing. Like it's embarrassing. The thing is, it's like, it's almost like there's this gray film over New Iberia, right? There it is. And it's like, mm-hmm. we have all these things. It's like new, fresh it looks good. Kind of like us, our people. We're yeah. all, we're beautiful people out there. We are. And then like, it's like, every, you tell them you're from New Iberia, and then they're like, oh my God, you're probably crazy. And then it puts like, yeah. like a dirty filter like, no, I, over you. Like, I, it does. The majority of people I've met from New Iberia are very outgoing. 
They don't give a shit what you they think. Oh, you know, yeah, that's no, it, it, yeah, it, it, that's and, and and I think that's a good thing. You know, like right. We get a bad rep for it, but yeah. it's like you just wish it was us. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't. <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah. I mean, I think it's 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 good. I don't think it's bad. You know, everyone has their own take on yeah. it. Yeah, like, I mean, um, it's it's just it's different. It it, I could t- I can feel the difference. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Me, we feel it. Yeah. Put us in a, a room with a whole bunch of people from out of town. Yeah, there's a like, difference. We are the like, like I, I, yeah, look, I, I know ours. Homa is the same way. Really? Exactly the yeah, same way. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I, I, um, Homa is a nice town. Right. Like, I, I don't like Homa best, at all. They have one of the but, best Mardi Gras, though. Come on. Oh, no, yeah. they, they do. They, they, like, they really do. I, I can't say anything Mardi negative. Gras. It yeah. is fun. It's a oh, lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I, I grew I'm up I grew up there, and I can say. Times, so I'm dead serious. Yes. I woke up, and I broke my remote to my car. I was like, oh, my God. I had to stumble. <laughs> stumble almost to my Mr. Clean one time. Like, I swear this man looked just like Mr. Clean. I came out the window. He was really trying to cut us off. I'm like, you see, that's a new Iberian you know, you yeah. take the girl out of the New Iberia, you can't take New Iberia out well, the girl. New, out I, 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 the I, I, road rage is a thing. Get it's, out. It's, yeah. it's, it, it, <laughs> n- the, 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 okay, Homa, everybody wants to fight everybody. Always. New Iberia is kind of like that after 3 a.m. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, we but no, uh, Homa, like they want to fight everybody <laughs> sober. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, They're like. No, nah, it was it was definitely interesting growing up in Homa. I could tell you, I've learned a lot of things. I bet. Yeah, it was. It's only it, come up though. I've been there uh, kind of recently. They got a brand new walk on, so like you know, like it's actually yeah. nice. Oh no, it's I mean nice they have time. a lot of stuff in Homa. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I just, um, I haven't it's just, been. It's one of those things. It's the I'll tell you what. That's next Mardi Gras, is. we might all go. We've got to go. We Because I, I know and many a people in shows. Homa. Huh? Like live show. We'll do a live show. Maybe even we'll a, like a ramen noodle, ramen noodle challenge in Louisiana. Yes, there you How go. How many ramen Boom. noodle packets can you catch? <laughs> I think we should do a live show from like. Let me float. let me tell y'all some of the craziest stories I've ever heard about Homa Mardi Gras. Because th- this will tell people how crazy it actually is. Because people fish. think they have the best Mardi Gras, and in their area this is how crazy it can get because i've seen crazy i mean i've actually seen a friend die on a float <laughs> so like um Kill the move, no i mean oh, so, God. I, I, I mean i'm dead serious i'm not even joking but the one i'm not going to talk about that <laughs> and, and rest in peace i'm not gonna you know but yeah i mean but i'm serious i'm i'm i don't want to say i'm yeah, i'm serious <laughs> he wants to say i'm dead serious yeah but no, I'm uh, really, you know, one year they have these giant potato guns that they shoot t-shirts out of oh, Jesus Christ. on the front and back, right? Uh-huh. Well, they were coming around the downtown, the, the, this was, this was, I'm not going to say the crew, but <laughs> they were coming down the downtown area and literally shooting off the t-shirts. Well, they ran out of t-shirts. And I guess they went to footballs, and they wouldn't shoot because they bounce. So they started stuffing canned beer in the potato gun. And all these cans were inside the potato gun. And they would shoot them off, and it would shoot. And one of the, a couple of the cans hit a transformer, and it blacked out the Pretty much, the, oh, you know the that the, the, oh, the part. Of, so I think they can't. They ban canned beers, like mm. you know, the the following they year. They, they did gun. something. They should, yeah, I don't know. Don't take our beer. Like, take but his no, gun. No, I mean don't like take the guns away. Like well, no, just potato. Well, the potato guns shoot T-shirts, so it's kind of cool. But I have memories in Homa. If you go to the Homa Mardi Gras, I can tell you this: don't ever look down. Don't ever, Don't ever walk in the street looking down, holding beer. If you leave a, a cart and you've got seven beers in a in a in a cardboard holder, you better keep looking in all directions around you. Because what what I wait for, being from there, is people to get hit with a football from fifty five yards away. Because <laughs> people, these guys on these floats, they, they played out. football. <laughs> yeah. And they throw footballs like 50, 60 yards down the top off of the float, and you won't know where they're throwing. And they're drunk. You might be a target. 
So they, they, I have seen so many people drop beer in every direction because they were hit by a football in Homa. That it is ridiculous. It's pretty wild. So make sure you're looking in oh, all directions. Know, so wild. I've Believe seen people get hit wild. with beads, broken noses. Look, I've been I, hit with so many beads, like, oh, yeah. and I leave, and like Marty. my face is like, yeah. it's like, it's like swollen. Like, what it's, happened to you, Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras, yeah. that, and that is all. And it's the only place after Mardi Gras is over that night. It looks like the yellow brick road of beads because no one picks up. Shitty beads in Homa. Yeah. What, what we call little colorful beads. You want little colorful beads at the end of the night? Go to Homa. Yeah. Bring two snow shovels, and you you'll have, have all the all the all the all the all the, all the all the colorful little beads you can you can have. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Literally. But shovel them before the cars start rolling because they'll start breaking your beads. Like, and you'll like and slip and you'll fall. I cannot even yeah. tell you like in how many times that I've gone through that. And yeah. just like and slipping like all over beads, yeah, and then being drunk like of course and you're and you're gonna fall. And we apparently all have ADD. Oh, no. very much so. <laughs> we started this off talking about <laughs> talking about the foodies with a drinking problem. Well, and here well, no, we're that's why at Mardi Gras. This is what happens yeah. when you drink and go, and try to work. No, no, no. <laughs> This it's is, okay. It's okay. It this is not. Okay, we're, getting we're getting it's there. We're getting. It's a part of our work. So there you go. This is not what happens. <laughs> All the time. Not. All the time. We actually, Most of the time. we're getting work done. It's just not happening the way the world wants us to do exactly. it. Exactly. No. <laughs> but what are you going to do first? I think that we should do a little poll and be like, so we need to know what are the top places for a uh, given uh, blank? So what should we do first? The best I honestly feel like this this little Ila Fia, though, um banquet type the deal. Taste, um, the, the taste, taste of, the taste of Lafayette. Okay. The taste of Lafayette. That that's a big thing for us. Yeah. That's like, a big thing for us. I feel us. like that should be our opening to that everything. Should. Because okay. it's a showcase of all restaurants. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that would be the perfect foot in the door. I think so too. To get us I started think that's a good off. idea. So, should we make a poll? I wonder how we could find out all of the restaurants going and let people vote. Right. Who do you think we should try first? Let them f- decide for you. Yes. You know what I mean? And yes. we write that and then we put a poll and then we, you go find those booths first. And, and from a scale of 1 to 10, you can rate those. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because that, yes, I like you know, because I mean, it, it won't be the same old, hey, you've got to try this place. Right. And it's biased. Yeah. You know, it's real people, you know, telling real people to go check something out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. That's what we want. And you're going to check stuff out time. anyway. Exactly. We're cool. You know? We'll be there anyway. I might but... go too and just like be the cameraman. Yeah. Yeah. Come watch the match. I'm going to be security. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be security. <laughs> Hey, don't uh-huh. take the fans off of us, right? ma'am. Take a step don't back. Touch me, that's Cali. That's us. yes. That's Cali Sigu. Yes. Yes. It is not Sig. And you can love <laughs> us. And odds are, no, we're very us. personable. We're personal. We'll give you, we'll hugs. Give you a big hug. Like, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. And, 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 and just don't be and threatened by us. <laughs> we're not those bitches, but we're we are. Uh, we are those bitches. But we love all. But we love all. Everybody has a second chance as well, so, you know. Exactly. But to write the first time. Wait, what was the first chance? I'm curious. <laughs> no. Because if you don't strike no, I'm out just... with us the first time. Oh, I see. When they want to tell you hi. It's okay. Like, yeah. like, you know. Do you think they'll have posters of y'all on their walls? You know, I feel like at night, you're going to want me next to you, so probably so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you heard it here. This is, this is, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> like, you know, Come yeah. We, so, you like, you could have your martini with your little pinky up. Yes. You could have your, exactly. your your shot ready to roll. After exactly. five, we'll take a picture of your eye through the <laughs> shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> shot 
She'll probably have a La Crema. I'll be the one with the Oh, martini. I love me some La Crema. Oh, me too. Oh my god, I love La Crema. Best Pinot Noir. You like La Crema. La Crema Pinot Noir. Yeah. And Deloche is actually pretty good also. It's very comparable. It is. Okay. But. Yes. I think La Crema is something I kind of grew up on, though, almost. At it was five very... years old. <laughs> you know what? And I, that's what that's what we're gonna, well, I, I, th- this is gonna get of. this is gonna get interesting because I can see that we're gonna go shopping too. Yeah. What, you like know, to what store that. can you go in and and really shop? You know what I mean? Like that's something yes. that I think we should do. Um, I like, am you, Nordstrom Rack. Hold up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have all the discount. I got all the deals. I got all the deals. She you take me DDs. shop. I'm I am there. I'm a DDs, a Ross, TJ Maxx. I oh, love Ross. Love. I will hit up a Goodwill. Okay. <laughs> me like, too. Me too. And and I am always dressed good. And nine times out of ten, my outfit head to toe is less than twenty dollars. Oh yeah. They definitely. never believe it. I swear they never believe it. Like I'm. Uh huh. You don't even know. One day, well, I'll and take we'll you shopping. And we'll write about it. Look, yeah. we will. Coming soon. It's TGIB. <laughs> T- exactly. Thank God I. I, they, t- they, yeah. Thank God, Iberia. <laughs> Thank God, Iberia. Thank God for her. Thank TGI, God for TGIB. Thank God for her. Thank God for Iberia Parish. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, but no, I mean, interesting. And f- for anyone listening that is not from Louisiana that thinks we're just the most craziest thing they've ever heard in their You're life. Right. You're right. You're, You're right. right. You're, You're right. right. That's why you love it here. Yeah. So come back. Come back. Come see Come us. back to Louisiana. We'll guide you in all the right ways. Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. And come we, have a drink with us. Yeah. yeah, if you see us, feel free to buy them a drink. Feel free. We will gladly accept. Feel free to pick yeah. up our $5,000 bar <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no <laughs> Uber. There's, there's no Just Ubers. Look, at least there, we don't need a limo driver. We have Ubers. We do have Uber. <laughs> and thank Uber. God for Uber. And thank God for Uber. Thank y'all so our much. Thank you always. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Several we times. Y'all. Fortunately, we're walking distance from downtown now. So Yes, we are. You know, a little bike ride. A little bike ride real quick. Yep. But what downtown? Downtown Lafayette. Here, Lafayette. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. We're, there's a, a group of us in the St. Street area. So, oh. And then... So y'all then, don't live in Iberia no more? No. He lives in St. Martinville. Okay. I live in Lafayette. Lafayette. Okay. But and, and I'm in Lafayette on He's a mostly nightly... Yeah. yeah, on like a nightly basis. Yeah. St. Martinville is like, hard to get to after you, you, you oh, might be yeah, drinking. Oh, yeah, definitely. And definitely. Uber, Uber wants to charge $7,000 to go to St. Martinville. <laughs> So what I do is I'll jump in the car with uh, and my good friend Ann Callianne here, and I'll sleep there, yeah. and she'll rescue me. And I'm, I'm right there. She's a mm-hmm. down the road, chat. When you right when you the road. you'll, you'll have right some road, you'll have chat. some pegs on that bike so he could ride on the <laughs> on the back of the front. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Could you see us drunk, drunk? doing that? Oh, my God. We, we, we would fall six times. It. We, we, we wouldn't even seven. make it across the road from no, the green room. Probably like, not. I can. I want. I'm gonna hang out on West Congress at two o'clock in the morning to see if I can see y'all pegging it <laughs> on the bike. Oh, you know, Congress is too busy for me, so I, know. I don't even take that in my car at night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, man, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. This is. This has to. Uh, this. This. How this escalates because this is going to be interesting. I have a feeling about oh, this. Me too, definitely. I love how we didn't even talk about any food really. But this is just Anne getting to know us. Yeah. So get to know Logan Ball. And Logan Ball. It's like the Wolverine of food. Exactly. <laughs> woof woof. Like Logan, you know what I mean? I know, I get it. <laughs> Ka- Cali Sigu is like Cali Sigue. Sigue. I don't really have a play on my name, but yeah. if you go to France, balls you can be are really Sigue. fun, so balls are fun. <laughs> and we love a good how about, ball. How about how, good ball. How about Sigu Ball? <laughs> Type of couple. Sig- well, no, <laughs> well, no, Sig- the Sig- we're not that type of couple. We're not like the Sig U ball. You can have your own carnival crew. <laughs> we are one hell of a circus, but. I like that. A Mardi Gras ball, the Sig U ball, the Sigway ball. Sigway. This sounds a little more like, you know, like elegant. Welcome Don't to you the know my last name. The Your last name's Ball. I know. Welcome. I know. To- <laughs> bitch, look, ain't nothing elegant about Ball. Welcome to the Sig U ball. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> it's going to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Oh, man, that's funny. But no, be great. people are like, are they drunk? That we, and bitch, we might be. So, look for us. And I can you like, tell? I want you to tell me. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that I'm not drunk. I am definitely not drunk. I am not drunk. We like, could take shots right now and see how drunk we can get by the end of this, though. And who's let's in? do it. And who's in? And let's do a contest. <laughs> look. I can guarantee you that, look, and we would drink Kevin under far the table, under the desk. Far, <laughs> look, under the oh desk. Oh, my God. <laughs> and look, and, and then it would just be us here cutting up with this monitor, these microphones, everything. Look, cutting up, look, cutting up. You have to edit two oh hours Lord. out. <laughs> and then, look, and then they got a ton of cameras like over there. Look, we'll even throw in footage to the recording. They see you go wake up. We don't have a whole live feed. We don't. <laughs> We done went Facebook Tomorrow live. Good morning. Look, here we are on Good Morning, like America, like. Oh, yeah. Like. Done went viral across the globe. <laughs> live, from the, live from the oil center. Live from the oil center. Callie and Logan. Well, we, we could do a 3 o'clock roundup. Ooh. Yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning. Right now, we just came back from the taste of Acadiana. Oh, God, yes. We have definitely got to let y'all hear the afters, though. Like That'll be good, yeah. That'll be good, we can go that'll be good and then to put by. in the outtakes. Then we'll be like Meet at 3 o'clock in the morning. Look. We just got back from the taste of Acadiana. Let me tell you something. What, that could be what, like a little what, segment what's... at the end of our, or every little bit, you know? Like yeah. The after. Best and worst dressed. The Best and worst dressed, too. We're going to have to do it. Oh, yeah. We will oh, we will cover, definitely. We will cover don't worry. No one we is safe. We will cover everything. You ain't getting away from New Iberia. <laughs> we will cover everything. I'm, like, I'm starting to enjoy this already. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. We've got to cover... Um, We're going to do the Times Best Of uh, Awards, too. We're going to have to go yeah. to that. We need oh, to cover yeah. Sharon Moss. And do Moss. Best, best we in... Need to cover Sharon oh, God. Moss. Can we not bring Sharon Moss up right now? No, we're not covering Sharon Moss <laughs> with anything. <laughs> I just let me dress you, okay? Hit me up. Let me. Uh, oh, <laughs> I could just say so much. Although one time I, I hear she did g- g- grab a tablecloth at a function and rip it off the table like a magician. Well, Is she about that life? I I don't know. I th- I heard about it. <laughs> it was at the Cajun Dome or wow. something. She she probably need. Okay, wait. Yeah, let me not. Let me wait till. <laughs> let me just wait. We cannot bash that hive. <laughs> Oh no, we're not bashing nobody. I mean, oh, hey, we're not bashing nobody. Like, it's yes, just <laughs> she just needs to be nice. Damn it, she's not nice. Have y'all ever had to help her in like a a, a professional I setting? I complimented her once, and she was like, Ugh. like she literally like she like had growled at me. I was like, I was like, bitch, I'm giving you a compliment, but okay, that's fine. And I'll go back to my cage because I guess that I'm a dog. Like, <laughs> let me go back in my kennel. Like, do y'all have, like, like, is, is that a, pro- like, you know what, let's talk about that. Is that a problem in Lafayette? I think it is. What? That people the think, students? do you know who I am? Yes. <laughs> I want another olive. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's like it, Lafayette, okay. I find that Lafayette isn't a mm-hmm. snooty place, but it can be in a given type of area. Yeah. Or do you know but, who I am? Do you, have, you, have you ever had these, do you know who I am? I want another piece of cheese. Then that's whenever I'm like, well, bitch, and do you know and who and I am? Do you want to charge? I will charge you for this cheese. Exactly. Like, <laughs> but no, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I think you can get more in Lafayette just by being nice. Exactly. Right. Like, like, exactly. Can't. That's why we waiting, have got, look, everywhere we go. Or possibly no. waiting for five minutes. You know? Yeah. You know? I don't really don't think, so you know, yeah, like, yeah. Th- does that, that, that's happened. Oh, God, the banging on the bar? The, the banging, the, the snapping, banging, the whistling, uh-huh. the, and, I'm quick, uh, um, and I'm so quick, and I'm I, not your dog, I, no. I'm your server, I am not your yeah. dog. And I know you see me. But it's more difficult when people are drinking because they just let their inhibitions go. And they get all pissed off. Exactly. Or they're trying to get that booty at the table and they they don't want to wait five minutes because they're scared somebody's going to hit on them. my ass, you're going to wait. Yeah. To me, you know, you can get a lot more. Very true. By being nice. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. And quicker service. To me, just this alone is a great talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Because I see it. I see it sometimes. And I'm like. 
man, just, you know what? Like, you, you don't need to be like that, you know? Like, no, we don't know who you are either, you know? Exactly. Like, you know, it's either that or I used to be Al Bundy type shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I see that too sometimes. So, I, I, I don't know. I mean, to me, this could be an interesting wake-up call. Mm-hmm. Wake up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We'll get you adrenaline pumping. Just be nice, Lafayette. Come on. Shit. What do you get when you... 2018, be nice. Hey, Hashtag. Hey, we, <laughs> hey I, got, I got a good joke. What do you do? What do you get when you put Homa in New Iberia? We're waiting. This shit. <laughs> This is good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mixed breed. Awesome. It's like it's like a lot of honesty Definitely. in Lafayette, Louisiana. And Which we're about Lafayette to hit you needs. with the real. Yeah, it's interesting. You know they what I mean? Hit you with that quick left. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're, 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 I wish I could have taken my photo at that moment when I asked them that question. We're like, we're like, I know we look so <laughs> spaced that we're like, we look so stupid. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> like completely like clueless we're waiting for it okay so is it happy hour yet I know because I feel like my first cocktail is wearing off so oh wow so what time is it it's 2 30 it's time for the second so y'all just basically do this all day yeah it's our day off it's our day off oh okay. we, now we do have days where we work mm-hmm. and we get up and we get dressed, and we go to work, mm-hmm. and we drink after, and we drink after, or during like and our and our uh, lunch break. But like, <laughs> but like, but like you see, today we've got an all day long lunch right. break. So it's like, so it's like you know, we're celebrating mm-hmm. as well. Celebrate. There's always a. Ce- I feel like we celebrate a lot. We need to celebrate this. Yes, like and we're like, celebrating this today. Exactly. Like, this is. We the should entire- have had shit, mom. I didn't go get mimosas this morning. That's today. Where can we get one? Of? I mean, you can. can you get and, you, and can you tell us, followers? Like, listen. I mean, brick and spoon closed at two, but I know yeah. you could have got one there. But where's yeah. a good place for a mimosa at three o'clock? There the is no. I don't think they have. I to think poor there. would be a place. Poor. And I've never been to poor. Let's that's go. That's where we're going. Let's go right now. That's I'll go we're with going. y'all. We're going and right now because that go. is a good place, and you would love poor. Yeah. And I've heard so you much about it because it's wine, right? And there's a patio. It's in River Ranch. It's in the the. No, the I love. Square. I am a sucker for a good patio. Speaking of, it's we went to the office Speaking hours of. earlier, it's and cute. I was like, "This is oh, it would be great if it had a oh. nice little patio." Speaking of that, um, so Lafayette, we also we are dying to know the best place and with patio seating that is not a mexican uh, <laughs> and restaurant <laughs> we are not saying that as we're anything. not like, we like love we're you not mexican discriminating anything but like we need a good restaurant typical. we already know the mexican restaurant comes with a bonefish. nice patio and, and, and bonefish it's a patio a party patio bonefish it's one of my favorite posts it's a patio party patio. tonight. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I could tell you a couple of places that have a patio that are not Mexican. One, one's right next door. Actually. Where? What? At Cafe Bella. I've oh, I've heard right. great I things. I have heard amazing heard things. things. We've been wanting to check that out. Okay, wait. Kevin, do you know something about uh, the... Uh, the I thought the it was lodge. called the Shade Tree. Uh, it was the Shade Tree, tree Inn? The Shady Tree Cafe. Cafe. The Shady Tree Cafe. Yeah, yeah. It's like a It's courtyard. badass. Yeah. Okay, we've got to go And there. they have a good hamburger. Oh, Jesus and Christ. And of course you know this. Yeah, and the food is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need to actually go But I feel there. like I want to go at night because I heard at night is lit the up. Tree. Yeah, but they have they do certain things there. It's, it's not a... I don't think it's always like, lit it up. Like, is a brothel? Oh. Why do you stand like No. <laughs> Oh, okay. like, 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 they do certain things. Okay, so um, well, no, like they have a, night, yeah. So you don't want to just hang, go out there at night and. and I just needed to know what kind know. of get up. Why? It's not that kind of shady tree cafe. <laughs> How Wait. shady is it? <laughs> no, it's, you know it's it's just a, it's under oak trees. That's pretty much it. I mean, because I was like, man, okay, what's going on here? Shady tree cafe. What's this? You know, like, but no. But I heard it's a pretty. It little it really is cool, and the food is awesome. Yeah. And and no, but they have these events where they do something under the trees, and I think they lights light them up, mm. and people go and they 
predominantly drink and eat, and it's fun. Sounds like we'll That's the perfect us, candidates so. for yeah. it. So light it up. Light it up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm trying to think of another spot that has a, a little a little poach. <laughs> I know. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm always in the mood to just go and grab a drink yeah. and be outside. To me, you, you know... To, that I, I I hate to say this, but like you remember, you, okay, where um where where was that spot? Uh, what's it called? The oyster place. Half show? No. No. Shucks. No. Mm. The other one, the These new, the one that, the one that they try to say, yeah, no that one, mushroom. the one they try to say is haunted and everything. It's, it's just never been the place that the place used to be, the building that it used to be, booties, and before it was it was another spot. They had probably one of the most amazing outdoor they did areas have a nice patio. that no one that. went to and no one supported. Yeah. And to me, that's a big problem in that's Acadiana, a really period. Nice patio. Like, well, no, just in general. Like, that's why I always say that, you know, Acadiana would never be anything without Acadiana because Lafayette doesn't support shit. Yeah. yeah. I say that a lot, you know, because when I'm at these functions, I'm like, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Are you from? I don't get a lot of Lafayette. So you know, Lafayette is is usually somewhere else. Like yeah. Des- like they want to go to Destin and support Destin and stuff, which is fine. But you know, Bring it home whenever whenever certain restaurants shut down, that's a problem. Right. Then they go, "Oh my God, we should have went there." Yes, uh, you should have. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I cannot believe. I it's an economic. Yeah. And then they bash, and then they bash. Yeah. It. And it's like. Well, well then, and you should have went there. Yeah, like, but I, I, mean? I, I have a lot of qualms about supporting stuff because, like, I see the comments and I'm like, whenever nobody ever, none of you went there, but y'all want to comment. You know what I mean? Like, it's exactly. funny. But no, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop. Let's go drink. Yes. Yes. Let's Thank you drink. for Thank listening. You so I appreciate y'all, Lafayette, and we Get, love you, I can't Lafayette. wait for you to see what we have coming. I know. Yeah. We're gonna post a. A Don't listen to me. Listen photo. to that. Look, and we're beautiful people. We have a great personality. We're and we love alcohol. This is we also love you, Lafayette. Our, uh, Lafayette meat singles ad. In case you were wondering, yes, we are beautiful people. We so are if you're a hot we like man, long walks on the beach. So if you're a hot man, look. I love long walks us. on the park, and I love to go to Evangeline Downs and, and get like sloppy drink. drunk and drink. <laughs> And watch the horses run in circles. <laughs> and I love vodka. And I love people to pick up my tabs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Lafayette. Bye. Thank you. We love you. And see you next time. And feel free to tell us your favorite drink. Oh, Go definitely. to definitely. Yeah. I mean, and don't be shy, sure. Sure. Don't yeah. be shy. We we accept all the feedback, all that look. Tell yeah. us where to go. Found the drink. Everything. Found the drink. Everything. Guide us. We're new Iberians. We don't know. We don't know anything. <laughs> Y'all got a pretty snazzy haircut there out there. Hey. Rocket. Nice. And all right, Lafayette. We're going to get drunk. Okay, bye. <laughs> this was fun.